Hey everybody and welcome to beautiful Star Valley, Wyoming. I am here with Linda V. Taylor and we are working on doing some freehand on some churn dash blocks. So we're kind of looking at how we can do some more simple designs and some more complex designs um, with that freehand quilting. So before we get started, make sure you click on our subscribe button. So it's right down there at the bottom right hand corner. After you click on that subscribe button, make sure you click on the little bell that shows up so you can get notified whenever we post new videos or whenever we go live. So Linda, let's start freehanding. Okay. Alrighty, Linda, so I went ahead and grabbed a chalk pencil mm -hmm. just to kind of mark out where I wanted to go with this. So okay. on the outside, I'm just going to do some continuous curves. Um, kind of flowing around and then when we come into this red part I just want to do some straight the what you call toothache uh -huh. and then in this white section we'll end up doing ribbon candy and then here we'll do a curvy cross -outch. Sounds simple and wonderful. <laughs> so I am in regulated mode. Um, I'm at doing this at 11 stitches per inch. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and we'll get going. So using that chalk line is just an idea, something to follow. Mm -hmm. It helps. We're gonna come back up here and then I am going to follow this back out. Okay. Try to stay on it as best I can. Okay. And that wasn't too bad actually. All right. Yeah, you're impressed. And then here, I know, I'm impressed <laughs> with myself. And then here I'm gonna be doing that toothache. So these are a little bit further apart than we've done in previous segments. Uh huh. But just making sure that we're kind of hesitating at those points. Well, we don't want it really dense, so that's good. Right. And you're staying perpendicular to the um, large, the longer line of Correct. the isosceles triangle. Yeah, so I'll be using this, kind of following that as the stitch in the ditch. Okay. And if I had a ruler, that would have worked as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then in here, we're coming in with ribbon candy, and this will be nice and open. I love how that variegated thread looks on that white. Mm -hmm. So coming up here, doing a little bit of stitch in the ditch. Oh, that one wasn't too bad either. Look at this. Just look so, at that. So impressed. <laughs> it doesn't take much <laughs> to impress me. <laughs> the biggest thing about these is just making sure Make that those sure points are point. coming to the point there. Yeah. yeah. Good idea. Looks like you meant it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. gonna go with that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Come in there, do a little bit of stitch in the ditch, and then we will do that ribbon candy. Filling in those sections, coming up and then down for stitch in the ditch. That one wasn't the best, but that's okay. And then over and starting with that toothache. So one of the times that you go up to that top, you could go in the middle. Right, yes, yeah. So the it would top be points are here. Yeah. Right, yeah. I had to think about that one for a second. I was like, hey, which oh, one I are know. we talking I'm about now? I know, I'm throwing you off everything. I just try. <laughs> try really hard. Well, you've got me freehanded, and that's a start. <laughs> <laughs> to throw me off my game. <laughs> but just like you said, if I can do it, anybody can do it, honestly. We can all do it. We can all do it. So follow that in. A little bit of that stitch in the ditch. And then the same one. Pointing that in there. Pull that down. And we'll come into this. Now for this one, for this ribbon candy, we're gonna want to come down and stop in this point so we can get into the center of that square. Okay, good idea. And it's perfect. There. Okay. And then I'm going to come off just a little bit, a little bit of stitch in the ditch. And then I'm going to start with a wave down here. Mm -hmm. Point it. Wave it back. Follow that for stitch in the ditch. We can open it up a little bit more. Wave it down. Point it. Wave it back. Stitch in the ditch. Wave it down. Point it. Wave it back. I think that it's a good to make sure there's a good wave in it, too. For sure, yeah. yeah. About a quarter inch apart on those, looks like. Trying to be. That's great. All right, so we'll come down here, a little bit of stitch in the ditch, and then I'm just gonna wave this opposite direction. Point it. This makes such a good, and so easy. A really easy fill, anyway. I mean, yep. if you wanna do a background fill, too, it you is. can do this. Yep. 
this much like that. What do we do? Five? All right, so I'll try to stay with five. Like ski wumpus things, but <laughs> you know, that's that's what I love about this part. Point that, and back, and come down for our final one. Point that, and back. Awesome, and that whole block is done. Just like that. We could time it. <laughs> um, Linda's lightning. Linda's lightning. Linda's okay. lightning, and I'm treating this as one square. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to go up about halfway, making a teardrop okay. like that. Okay. Now I'm going to follow this edge over here and come out here like this. And as I come over, I'm going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Okay. okay. Then I'm going to come over like this, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I'm coming back like this. Okay. And I'm going to come back over here like this. This is going to make a zigzag. Oh, uh, I see. I know. I think I did that one wrong. But that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's all right. We adapt. Yeah, there I'm going to catch like that. that one. There, there you go. There we go. Okay. You have to go over it like quite a few times because yeah. you really want it to show up. Right. Okay. So um, I'm gonna come over here. This has got to be done, and this has got to be done. Yeah. You could draw that zigzag on ahead of time. Right. Let me look at the others and see how close I came. I think I came one more. One more. Yep. yep, you're right. So come here like that, yeah. and then down. Okay. And then I'll just kind of do a little zigzag. I'm going to do a texture dot okay. on top of that. Okay. Like that. Here we go. I'm just going to come over here. I, um, I'm just. If I get there fast, it's pretty straight, isn't it? Yeah, you're just. I that. just go like that. Look yeah. at that. Okay. And then I'm going to make polka dots on here as I come over. Okay. They have a flat side, Corey. Can you see that? Yeah. Flat, round, and flat, makes it round. And then in this area, mm -hmm. we're just going to do our little loop de loops. Loops, yeah. I could come back and cross those, but we're keeping it very simple. Right. And I like it. Yeah. There we go. And I'll just stop right here. Okay. Now, let's just go ahead and do the center. All right, on this one, um, lots of things I could do, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do um, like little half circles around okay. to begin okay. with. Okay, so I'm gonna come around. That's about a third of the way. I sort of drew them on. Right. Half circle, half circle, half circle, half circle, half circle, half circle. I'm gonna do another one, and as I come out, I'm coming over here. Now, in the middle, I'm going to do a texture dot and then go back out. Okay. And I, and I sort of drew a circle there. And right. you can, I used one of my little templates for that. Yeah. Okay. So then I, I just echo and come in here. That circle in the middle is not going to be drawn. It's just going to have those little texture dots to that edge. Right. Kind of finds that kind of gives you your spacing for right. to have that extra right. piece in the center. Okay. You're going to love it. Yeah, love I it. love it. Yeah. That shot pencil really comes in handy. It sure does. Yeah. You know, you can just do it so light. Um, the fact that and it, it comes right off. off. Yeah. It does. It just erases right off. So you just go, you know. Right. <laughs> you just go, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll head on over to your sound effect for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's it. I love it. Kind of looks like a spider web. Right there in the center, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was super fun. I love that. And there's a lot of ideas there mm -hmm. for different parts of quilts, you for know? For sure, not just for a turn dash, yeah. all over the place. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.